morning everyone this is more than a mother of four here and we're here doing our five minute easy to do school hairdo so I already took the initiative to go ahead and prep for this hairdo so that way we can actually crunch it down to the five minutes that is idealistically what this demonstration is for so uh, basically getting to the details with this hairdo I've separated three parts we'll start as describing it as that three parts so we have the front front crown separated we have the lower back of the crown separated and the middle so we have three sections and how I sectioned them off was by zigzag lines in between and then with the center the center piece of hair I just simply divided it by two also separating with a zigzag swirl line. And for the front and the back, I just simply tied uh, a barrette on both ends just to hold the bulk of hair together so that way it doesn't catch to any of the braids that we're going to be doing or any of the flyaways go in a direction that they're not supposed to because we are cramped for time so we don't really have too much prep time and time to spare so let's get to it so what I'm going to do now is just take an elastic band and just to do the same with this piece of hair not too tight so that way when I need access to it I can just simply remove it by just pulling it so it's loose and just tying it to that strand to keep it away from the braid that we are going to beginning, begin doing. So for this braid we're going to be starting in the direction of right to left. And we're going to be doing a simple corn roll right to left. And I just want to mention anyone who's showing support right now, subscribing and liking to the videos. I, we greatly appreciate it. This is our new uh, territory that we are indulging in. And this is all practice to our debut for Saturday's Easy to Do Weekend Hairdo, which will be also featuring my youngest daughter, Giovanna, of the age of one with her style here do as well and for every Saturday here on it will be featured so definitely stay tuned and post it especially for my technique for easy to do cornrows in the near future as well as easy to do flat twist And I want to give a big shout out to my tech savvy son Ramel for giving us a good, great hand with uh, doing this video tutorial for the remaining of the week and week in it as well. Okay, so back to the hairdo. As you can see, I am at the end part to where now I'm just continuing on the cornrow onto a simple loose three strand braid. and just tying the end with an elastic. Now an alternative is you can continue all the way to the end of her hair 
However, this is an easy to do school hairdo, so we are crammed for time, and this looks just about ideal for the hairstyle we're doing and the time that we have to spare. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take the strand of hair directly on top that we tied an elastic band to, grease away some flyaways, and she has a lot of flyaways, so if you have uh, a child or a client or anything that has a lot of flyaways, I definitely, definitely would suggest Garni's wax, wax, excuse me, hair product. That this is more ideal. It's a great substitute for gel, as I also mentioned in a previous tutorial. Doesn't damage. Does the job. I use it on myself as well. Taking off back uh, off subject for today's hairdo. This weekend also, I will be featuring my son Ramel touching up his mohawk and also jazzing it up with a new style on both sides of the mohawk mohawk itself so that should be interesting I do both my hair my daughter's hair and my son's hair as well and of course my nieces and nephew when in town or at my house and actually luckily I just reminded myself we are actually starting this braid on the wrong end so now we're going to have to definitely get going with this hairdo we're actually supposed to be starting it from this side As you can see, it's early. <laughs> everybody's focus is a little shaky. And I was actually observing everybody's on YouTube, other tutorials, similarities to mine. And I understand entirely why people idealistically do it. You know, in the afternoon, it's more than obvious that's the time frame they do it. And preferably, probably as well on a weekend. So this is definitely a treat for all of my bloggers for this week every morning. And please do all new subscribers or anyone new t tuning in to check out my web webpage blog www.facebook.com slash more than a mother of numeral four so much variety unlike other blogs I'm sure you'll come across something that is of interest to you there's also a description on my channel of my blog itself And most importantly, I hope everybody enjoys and it's absolutely free to utilize. I am also event coordinator, free of course, for the community. I love to contribute to the community. And I actually have been for several years. Now I'm just utilizing my resources to grasp a bigger audience and have a larger outcome on events and such so anyone who's anyone spread the word check it out absolutely free back to the subject so I am done with the opposite braid on the opposite direction going the opposite direction and as I did with the last one I'm just going to simply use an elastic band to tie the end. There's a string on my pants. 
I mean, we'll cut it. Okay, so we're still doing uh, the hair tutorial. Okay, sweetheart. So we'll, we'll get that strand cut once we're done. All right, so back to subject entirely. We're done with the two braids going in the opposite directions. Part it with zigzags or swirls, whatever you consider it to be, at the center of her crown. Now we're going to go ahead with the top of her crown. I'm just greasing up some flyaways. Well, it should never have pulled the string, but we can get you changed into another pants. So we're even more crammed to time. <laughs> so let's get going back to the subject. So now we're going to go ahead from just greasing up some flyaways and on, take two elastics and we're going to put it in a top ponytail with just the top portion. And we're going to incorporate the braid at the top the braid at the top into the ponytail itself. So that it comes out and looks like this. And with that being said, I'm just going to give it a little it snug over here so it can be tight <clears throat> and don't worry we're not leaving the rubber band to be visible at the top we're just simply using it to not only move it out of the way so we can focus on the bottom now getting together all the flyaways greasing it up wax whatever hair product you prefer to be using so we can also combine the lower center braid to a ponytail And just combining two elastics to simply just repeat the step that we just completed at the top crown of her head, combining the hair as well as the braid into a back end ponytail, giving it a little snug, and it should resemble this. And now, if you feel like you need them to have to add another rubber band because, you know, it could be the uh, same reasoning for me, which is my daughter has a long day of school from 8 a.m. to 4.15, and actually with getting home, it's around 4, 4.40. So, yeah, if she has a long day, or he has a long day, or whomever your client may be, if you feel that extra initiative to have to add another rubber band just to secure the hairstyle and make sure it's going to last all day, then please do so, as I am. So in total I have three elastic bands at both top and bottom. So now I'm going to lift her head and focus on the top ponytail. And with that I'm just using a simple barrette that has two balls at each end. Some of you guys are probably familiar with this barrette very well actually. I know I am. I used to use it as a child or have it used on my hair when I was a child myself. And just to put this uh, specific barrette to actually combine or get tied, you just overlap the ball with the other one, putting it through through the, uh, through the hole of the ball that you're trying to maneuver to the opposite side. And voila. If that explained it specifically enough. And it should resemble that. And so with the excess here, we're just going to simply do a side off three strand braid.
So we're going to just do a three strand braid and we'll be doing the same to the opposite side. And it is early, very early indeed. So I do hope all subscribe, like, leave a comment if you would like, visit my blog website which I've mentioned and will mention at the end of this tutorial. Any suggestions, please feel free to leave a comment or post on either my blog or my channel as well. But please also keep in mind that this is our third official YouTube channel tutorial ever. And we are still in the midst of getting everything down pack as far as this routine. Although these tutorials will, that I'm going to be continuing to do on the weekend, from this weekend on, are not going to be as early as 6.20 in the morning as now, <laughs> they will be uh, a frequent thing and less cram for time. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Back to the subject, just doing the same with the bottom end ponytail taking the same kind of barrette with the two bulbs on both ends twisting it around the elastic bands that made the ponytail itself and then tying it to one another by just simply putting one bulb in, in the middle of another bulb's circle and with the back end instead of it being to the side, I'm just going to simply do a three strand braid straight forward from the back end ponytail. Now, if you want your bulbs to actually be in a certain direction, then you can just start the wrapping of the barrette from the opposite side. So that way the bulbs end up where you prefer it to be at the top, the side, wherever you would like the bulbs to appear. So actually, I think I'm going to redirect the bulbs so that way they make a better presentation to this easy to do hairdo and I'm going to just use an average elastic band at the bottom I'm doubling it so it's in total of two it's just to ensure that Miss Nyla doesn't have doesn't walk home this later afternoon with her hair not resembling the style she left out the door with <laughs> so I'm just going to simply readjust the bulbs so that way the balls so that way they're in the direction that I actually prefer so I'm starting from the top securing it with my index finger and middle finger the bulb at the front so that way it doesn't move and just doing the same thing and now it's simply at the top and I'm just going to do the same with the side braid so that way it is more at the angle of the opposite side of where the braid falls. Holding it with my index and middle finger once more. There we go. A little squeeze, tight squeeze, and voila. So here we have it. Today's hairdo. And please like, subscribe, leave a comment as I mentioned throughout the tutorial itself for your easy to do school hair do five minutes and believe me once you get this tutorial down pack it is less than five minutes you just go for it knock it out and hopefully it will be, it won't be as early as 6 20 in the morning as us but this is definitely a treat for all my bloggers so make sure you do subscribe like and check out my web blog leave a post on that as well or like and indulge in anything everything is absolutely free once more, and we'll see you guys tomorrow for your easy to do school hairdo five minutes. Enjoy your day. Bye. Bye. Can I take